my own hat on. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to my school reunion. If you want proof, just look on my shirt. Can you see that? There you go, Batch 2000, La Hong Mas Batty. But you know what? I've been looking at everyone here today, and the funny thing is, I don't recognise a single person that I went to school with, so uh, maybe I'm at the wrong place. I mean, just look what kind of view we've got here for the day. We've got our own private beach. Look at the colour of the water and everything. I mean, it's a different to what I had in England when I had my school reunion. That just consisted of uh, all of us meeting down the pub, having way too much to drink and then trying to find a way home at the end of the night. It was nothing like this. Here they do it in, you know, big style compared to back home. Like you've seen by the t-shirts, they have them all printed and everything. We've got our own private beach for the day. Only as here. We've got a karaoke you can hear in the background, so there'll be plenty of that later by me, no doubt. Look at that, all the huts we've got there, everything we need. It's fantastic, what a view. And there we go, we've got the cooking started already. We've got three tuna on there, smoking away. And as always with these events, we've got a great big poor pig that's been battered, ready for everyone to eat. So I thought I'd better take a picture of this quick before it gets absolutely chopped up and uh, devoured. Because it never usually lasts long once they start eating. And back to the tuna again, let's just see how these are cooking. Oh, I don't look like it'll be long before they're ready. And as I said before, the pig's not going to last long. And there we go, the machete's out and the pig's in half. That's in Peridor light anyway, but it's only 110 pesos for a bottle. I think it's three quarters of a litre for only 110 pesos. And uh, beer, if you get mucho, like Red Horse, anything like that, it's about 70 pesos a litre. So obviously, you know, for just a little bit more, you can get a whole bottle of brandy for near enough the same price as a bottle of beer. So everyone tends to just nail this after they've been eating. And as I said, they've bought 12 bottles, so I don't know how long it'll last. But they've got well stuck into it so far anyway. Oh, there's the next one just being lined up ready now. Right, as I was saying, we've got loads of alcohol to finish and it's all gone now. <laughs> Only joking, this isn't ours. Alright, it's late afternoon now and the sun's gone in so I can uh, use the camera from this angle. I couldn't do it before because the sun was facing the wrong way. I just wanted to give you a quick view of the huts that we've hired out and the whole beach. All this is ours. <laughs> we've got the karaoke going still. But what a great spot to have a reunion, it's fantastic. And as I said before, what a great view as well. Everyone, that's the end of the video today and as you can see the lights fading fast now we'll be staying here till well after dark but I'm afraid you know I won't be able to capture anything more because there'll be no more light for us to film uh, basically I just really wanted to show you the differences between you know the school reunions that you have at home in your own country or whatever and how they do it over here there wasn't much action I'm afraid because it was basically just eating, drinking and karaoke and you've had to suffer my karaoke too much in the past and I didn't really want to put you through that again so I'll end the video here anyway. Thank you very, very much for watching. See you later.